Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Teagan. I'm with Fred Anderson Toyota in Raleigh, North Carolina, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about leasing. Specifically, how to lease a brand new car. A lot of us have never leased before, so for starters, let's just call this Leasing 101 and go from there. Now I'm gonna show you the most common benefits of leasing, some concerns that people might have about leasing, common terms you'll need, and then I'll give you a real life scenario so you can see how leasing affects you and your monthly payment. Now, what I tell people is leasing is just basically another way to finance your car. In other words, you can do traditional monthly payments. The most common term for monthly payments that people use right now with Toyota is 72 months of financing. Leasing, the most common term is 36 months, although there are two year leases and four year leases, even 39 month leases. Or you could just pay cold hard cash for your car. I'm gonna show you a couple benefits of leasing the two most common ones that I know of are it gives customers a lower monthly payment than traditional financing and it gives you choices and flexibility at the end of that lease term. So let's look at a couple terms that we're going to need. First of all, your monthly payment. About 90% of my customers have some sort of a monthly budget in mind when they come to see me, so they have to stick to that. Monthly payments are obviously very important to me. The residual value. This is the guaranteed value that your car is going to be worth at the end of your lease. This has been preset and you'll know the residual value when you lease a car. Money factor is another term you might want to know. Just like a monthly payment for financing uses interest rate, the money factor will help determine your leasing rate. It just looks a little bit different. As opposed to listing 4.89 or 5.9%, the money factor would look like this. 0.00204. Now, how does that convert over? You multiply it times 2400. And I already know this because I calculated it. That'll be 4.89% would be what your leasing interest rate is if you were to use it that way. I've gone ahead and drawn out a timeline for a typical 36 month lease. And here's the day you buy it, the end of year one, year two, and the end of year three. When you get to about six payments or six months left in your lease, you would normally be hearing from me and I would consult with you and give you your options for end of lease terms. And then you can pick the one with hopefully my help that's best for you and your family. Here are the four choices. You can decide that you love this car so much that you want to keep it for the next 10 years in which case you're going to finance that car based on the residual value. Let's say you still owe 13,000 on your car. That's the residual guaranteed value of your car. Maybe it's a Camry. You would finance this amount on this angle here. Now you can trade it in for something else. Maybe you found a different color you like, or you want to upgrade to the latest safety and technology after three years. That happens a lot. Your car will either be break even, it will have some positive equity. Rarely does it have negative equity. So most often you're gonna be break even or you might even carry a little extra money into your next lease. Or you could decide you wanna give it back to Toyota. So in which case you get the car inspected through us and then you just give it back to Toyota. You can buy a new car of any manufacturer. It doesn't matter, but that's one of the options. Or you can decide you wanna sell your lease to someone else. This option is not nearly as common, selling it to somebody else. So I'm gonna take that one completely right off the board here. But those are your options. It's designed, like I said, to give you choices at the end of your lease so you're not locked into something and you get to decide where you wanna go from here. Okay, let's see how leasing works in the real world. Let's say a customer wants to buy a 2017 Camry LE with a sticker price of 25,000. We're gonna discount it about $3,000 and including state sales taxes, Department of Motor Vehicles fees, maybe a dealer dock fee, your out the door cash price will be $23,500. What to do with that? If we finance, let's use Toyota's best rate right now, 60 months, 0%. No money down, you'd be about $394. It goes down per $1,000 that you put as a down payment, about $17 a month. So if you lease, I structured a 36 month, three year lease. I allowed 12,000 miles per year. And what that means is you're allowed 36,000 total miles to do whatever you want to over the course of those three years. Okay, no money down, 
317. So instead of 394, you're now going to be paying 317. A thousand dollars down. If you look at this, it's just about ninety dollars a month savings. So for an individual or a family on a budget, that's a really big deal. Okay, the other terms I mentioned: residual value. If you want that arm of the flexibility at the end of three years, you want to keep it. Thirteen thousand three hundred eighty. You'll work off of this number, and then you'll come to me or whichever your company is and finance it through them. Now the money factor. It's really low right now. 0 0.00018 multiplying it times 2400. The interest rate right now on this lease is less than half a percent. So if you see a lease like this, jump all over it. Now, I allowed 12,000 miles per year. Let's say you're a driver who drives a lot more than that. 15,000, maybe you do 18,000 miles. Come down here for this formula. Every time you bump up in miles from 12 to 15, 15 to 18, at about $15 per month. So let's take this and this and this and now we've got an 18,000 mile lease and you'll be at 347 instead of 289 you'll be at 319 which is still a lot less. You've allowed a tremendous amount of miles per year and you're saving a huge amount. So hopefully this will help kind of break things down and help you decide which option is best for you. Now I'm going to take a quick minute and tell you why people should lease. What are all the benefits of leasing? First of all, we talked about lower payment and flexibility and choices at the end of your term. You can get a new car every three years. My mom's famous for this. She likes to lease every three years so she can get the latest technology, the new gadgets, new safety features. Maybe she wants to try an upgrade in trim level, that kind of thing. It's perfect for her and it's a great thing for you. By the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like my Facebook page. I would appreciate it. I could use all the fans I can get. Now, um, you can get more car for less money. In other words, if leasing offers a lower monthly payment, now maybe you can get that navigation or sunroof or leather seats that you wanted to have but couldn't afford with traditional financing. Another great plus to leasing is you can dissolve your negative equity. In other words, let's say you trade in a car to us and it has $3,000 negative equity. We build that into the lease, you make your payments at the end of three years, no more negative equity. You're just done with it. So it's a way to cover that and dissolve it you're going to be covered under the full warranty of the car for the most part. Let's say you do a 36 month lease, your traditional Toyota warranty is three years and 36,000 miles. You're going to be driving your car for the best years of your car's life. It's new, it's shiny, so you can drive it for that time and after three years, like I said, you can give it back, you can trade it in, maybe you want to keep it for the whole term. It's dependable and reliable, so why not? But at least you have choices. Gap insurance will be covered with your Toyota leases. I'm not sure about other manufacturers, but that's a great protection to have in case your car loses value, maybe from an accident or something like that. That's covered standard. Let me tell you about a couple concerns I've heard from customers. Number one, I don't want to lease, I drive too many miles. Well, that's kind of an easy one because like I showed you before, you can build in miles. Maybe you can build all the way up to 20,000 miles, so you're allowed 60,000 miles during that three years, no mileage penalty. By the way, the Toyota mileage penalty, if you are over, is 18 cents a mile. However, in that scenario that I showed you at the end of the lease options, it only is assessed to you if you're just giving the car back and not buying anything else. That's the only time that you get the mileage penalty. If you're keeping it or if you're trading it in for something, Toyota doesn't care. It doesn't matter. Those are the two most common scenarios that people do is keep it and trade it. So no mileage penalty anyway. Think about that one. I don't like to lease. I like to own my cars. Just remember if you're doing traditional financing, you own your car only at that very single day when you finally paid it off down to the last cent. For example, let's say you decide to see who the real owner is and you skip three payments. The real owner, the bank, will come and get that car. So you don't technically own it. Leasing is just another way to finance your car. Okay, last one. Let's say you're worried about excess wear and damages on your car. Well, you can always buy Toyota's excess wear and use protection. It's about $15 to $20 extra um, added to your lease, and that protects you up to $7,500 in damages, dents, dings, scratches. It even allows for bald tires to be replaced. 
So if it fits your budget, that is great peace of mind protection there. And like I said, $7,500 in damages, that's a high amount. So hopefully that relieves some of your fears or nervousness about leasing. Thank you so much everyone for watching my video. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how leasing works so you can see if this is a good fit for you and your family. There's a lot of information to cover. I did my best and I really hope it offered some help to you. And I'll see you next time.